Hello. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the very highly requested house tour that you all have been asking for. We have Nicholas behind the camera. Hi. I have my lollipop mic set up. If you watched our previous house tour, this one is a little bit different. It's still a little bit similar in style. We have a lot of the same things from the last apartment, but it definitely is a little bit different. It's a little bit more Danish, industrial, Swedish. There's an amazing amount of light in this place because it actually starts two stories up off of the ground. So we get beautiful light all day long. It's something that I cherish very much about this place. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. I'm gonna take you guys through each room and we'll just have a good old time. <music> So starting in our home is our foyer entranceway. I don't know if you would really call this a foyer, but, and one thing that people ask so much about is this beautiful build-in bookshelf feature that came with the place. We honestly didn't know if we were ever going to be able to fill it up, but we quickly, quickly filled it up. And it's kind of just like little pockets of who we are as people, as creatives, as professionals. And over time, it started to fill up with so many just incredible things that are memories, that are little pieces of us and it's just turned into almost like a whole art piece in itself of just like who me and Nick are as people. Some of my favorite items on the bookshelf are I love Nicholas's sculpture that he made. I've tried to make him make me more of them but he refuses <laughs> but I love his little red ball sculpture. I think it's just so cool. Wow. Something else that is actually one of my absolute favorites is this little sushi roll that I think it's like an incense holder or something, but I found it in like a little shop randomly. I don't know, it reminded me of Nick's face, honestly, so. Okay, we obviously have all of our books, which that would take way too long to go through, but we have vintage cameras. We have a camera that actually Andy Warhol, not used to shoot with this one, but he used to shoot all of his Polaroids on using that same camera, and that's what inspired me to get it. And anytime that someone new comes into our apartment, we always take a Polaroid photo of them. We take one that we get to keep, and we take one that they get to take home. It's been a fun tradition, and we've collected them. I'll show you guys when we get over that way of the house. We have my amazing mini Miss Pac-Man machine. It's one of my absolute favorite things to take down when I'm having people over or when I'm having a dinner party or something. People just do not expect it to come out and they're like, what is that? And it's just such a fun like topic of discussion. And then everyone starts playing it. It's also really fun to bring it down when it's like getting ready for dinner and I'm still cooking and people are like in the kitchen in my way and it keeps them away and out of my way. We have my Margot bag. She's covered right now, but we've seen enough of her on this channel. A book that we are are both very inspired by right now is the Donald Judd Spaces book. When we were in New York, we visited the Donald Judd Foundation and I mean, we got a tour of the old whole apartment building that he has in Soho. And I mean, it was incredible. It was so beautiful. And so when we got home, we were like, oh, we have to buy the book. There's a lot of inspiration in here for home stuff. And it's my favorite thing to be inspired by. So if you're looking for a book, down at the bottom, we have a beautiful amount of wine that we kind of just use for storage. I started collecting wine really at the beginning of this year. I spent a lot of the end of last year learning about wine, and then I started going to Napa, and I just, I don't know, got well-rounded in it. And so then I started purchasing wine and restoring it, aging some of it, but it quickly busted out of the seams of the storage that I had it in. So we gave it an entire row of the bookshelf down there. And there's more wine where that comes from. It's not just that. Hopefully eventually one day, I have a cellar and it can be stored and all of that. But until then, you know, we work with what we got. Over here, we have a painting by one of our friends and artists, Toby Ross Southall. He is an incredible artist. And once I found this piece from him, I instantly knew that I wanted it. And it was also one of my first pieces of artwork that I had ever purchased. We got to meet him in his studio and see it. And we became such close friends with him from it. And it was just such an amazing experience being able to like become so close with the artist whose work is now on display in my home. I will link all of his stuff down below for you guys to see, but incredible artist, definitely worth a check out. The piece is done using watercolor ink and then bleach on raw canvas. And he was able to obviously like get the figure of the woman from it. I love art that I look at and I'm just like, I don't understand how it could have ever been made. That's some of my favorite kind of art. This encaptures that completely. Down to something a little bit else. I also just received this from Givenchy yesterday and I was like, okay, wait, this would be perfect to just unbox during the video. So I have no idea what's in here, but let's find out. It's rather big. Dun, da, da, da. This is my favorite part of unboxing something. 
<laughs> what do we think it is? Shoes or a bag, maybe? I think it's too big for shoes, right? I don't know. Oh, I think it's a bag. There's a note. We have to read the note. Dear Everett, we hope you're enjoying your new Givenchy crossbody Vayu handbag. We can't wait to see how you style it. The Givenchy team. Now you know what it is. Oh, oh, very wow. cute. Very into this shape. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I'm into it. This is my first gift from Givenchy, so thank you guys. This is beautiful. You can give her a go later. Wow. Very cute. Thank you, Givenchy. That is so, so sweet and kind of you guys. We'll leave that there. Okay, now moving on into our living space. We still have our beautiful Wasili chairs. If you can see, this one has um, a little bruise on the top. We, funny enough, had a friend, one of my absolute best friends, came running over to hang out one day and he was wearing a backpack and it was a hot summer day. And when he got here, he decided he needed some water because, you know, he ran and he was tired and he sat right on the leather with his back against it. And then he got up and we were leaving and I was like, what is on your back? And I realized that it was a perfect strip of brown. And I was like, that is the leather of my chair. And I sure enough come to look here and there it was. And so then I tried to get it out by like rinsing it. I tried all these, all these things and it just, it, this is what it looks like now. This is just, this is just how the chair is and that's it. And I, you know, I don't think it looks that horrible. So I think it patina it well. I patina yeah. it. Yeah. And then Nicholas, if you skew back a bit, we can see this beautiful coffee table that we got. In our old place, we had a clear acrylic one, and then we also graduated that to a green waterfall one that you guys loved so much. And we still kept her, but this is our more like big boy coffee table. It fills a room a much, much better. It allows me to display books and things on it, but something that's really cool about this coffee table is we have two acrylic pieces on each side, and then we have a very, very thick piece of glass in the middle and everything is held together just by tension. We found this table in Palm Springs at a place called Market Market, which if you ever go to Palm Springs, you have to check out. They have unbelievable things there. Since this is only held together by tension, it's very challenging to get it to stand up. You need at least like three or four people to really like hold it up and then push these together. It's really funny. It's very heavy. I felt really bad for the guys who helped us move it, but they were champions and they really brought it to life in here. I think what's really cool is that any Time, if we really wanted to, we could just get a different piece of acrylic or glass in a different color and a different size, and it can just always stretch or retract in any style or shape that we want. And I think that was what really drove me to deciding to get it. I wish I knew the name of the designer or whoever made it, but it was a resell. So if any of you guys know, let me know. We currently have it decorated with an array of things. Right now, I am really set on the Creative Act a Way of Being by Rick Rubin. It's a great book if you are a creative or kind of anyone really. It just is like small little life lessons that you already know, but you don't hear enough. And it's just been a really great read. And they're only like little excerpts. So you can read like two pages at a time, three pages at a time, 50 pages at a time. It's just a really great book. Then moving over here, we have our credenza that we had in our other apartment as well. Here we have it a little bit more dressed up than the other one, I believe. We have a Sunset Tower Hotel ashtray. I'm such a Sunset Tower fan and it's one of my favorite places to go in LA. We have some knickknacks from places over the world that we went to from the Newt in England. We have our trusty Loewe book that I've showed you guys before but it's like one of uh, only like 1500 and I searched the internet forever for it and I finally found one. We have the Loewe candle next to it, brother sister action. Over here we have the couch situation, nothing that crazy. We're really trying to figure out what we want to do with this big space of a wall. You know, getting a piece big enough to fill this wall is just obviously not an option because one, we are two floors up and it has to fit through a doorway and you know, I'm just not, not doing it. Um, but I am thinking of maybe doing like something like abstract, like a big piece up here and a tiny little piece up here, or even just one tiny little piece in the middle. I feel like the whole wall could become one piece of art. Running over here, we have our bar cart that I've had for years. Love her. It's an old dentist cart. All my friends told me it was going to look so ugly and they were all wrong. Above it is my trusty Colette shopping bag. This was my last shopping bag 
bag ever from my last visit to Colette in Paris before it closed. And I just thought she needed to have a moment. Okay, moving on into our kitchen -y area, we had to forfeit our dining table, but we had this one, so this works for us. I am a sucker for a high top. If I'm ever going out to dinner with you or anything like that, I if there's a high top table, I want it. I don't know why, but I love when my feet just like don't touch the floor for some reason. <laughs> but since this is kind of an interesting height, it's higher than like a bar, but it's not as high as a high top yet. So we had to have these bar stools made. They are from a beautiful designer called Greta de Puri. If you can see, it has a lot of like metal work and it has like the small stool on that side, the longer stool on this side. And it has like this beautiful walnut finish on top. I just thought it was very chic, modern. It really went with the space well, I think. And they were able to make them a size that fits this kind of awkward height of a table. They're called the Nico Stool and I will link her stuff down below. She's an incredible designer. Moving on into our kitchen, we have Hudson's little station right here. Quickly going through some storage. We have the rest of that wine I was telling you about. It goes all the way back on each row. And these are more of the bottles that I don't reach for as often. These are more of the more expensive bottles and the ones I'm kind of aging more. One of my absolute favorite places in Napa is Senses Wine. Very, very incredible wine. Followed by my actual absolute favorite is Kistler. If you guys know anything about wine, those two are my absolute favorites from Napa. I'll show you guys our fridge because I feel like that's what they do on any house tour. Um, my fridge is always looking pretty divine, honestly. I'm always pretty proud of it. If I'm not proud of it, then I'm kind of sad. But I love to have a stocked fridge. I think it's really important for when people come over and I also just like it for whenever I am just needing something other than like a water or something like that. I like to have the option. We have our San Pellegrino. I am a huge San Pellegrino fan. I could drink all of those honestly in a day, but I try to limit myself to like just a couple for my wallet's sake. We have a bunch of bottled water that I always send friends home with if they're over here late or things like that. That's why I keep them in the house. We have our trusty little hard boiled egg machine. It's not really a machine, but you know, you just take one and then the next one rolls down. I love it. Stuff like that just makes me so happy. We have all of our Polaroid film that I was telling you guys about. They do not make this film anymore. They stopped quite a long time ago and apparently they like destroyed the machines or something. I don't know, but they don't make it anymore. And so now you have to buy it for very expensive prices. So I try to not use it just to use it, but I have to take photos of people whenever they come in our apartment. We have our trusty coffee station over here. This is probably one of the best coffee machines I have ever in my life owned. So if you are looking for one, this is it. I'll link it below. It's incredible. Changed my life coffee wise. We have more wine over here. This all actually just came in. I'll tell you what's really dangerous is going to Napa and going to the wine tastings. And at the end of the wine tastings, you then sign up for their wine club because you end up signing up for all of them thinking it's not that much. And then you end up getting 75 bottles of wine each season. But yeah, this one is from Flowers. They are actually another one of our absolute favorites. Such a beautiful, beautiful winery if you ever go to Napa. This is our sink, nothing that crazy. You know, moving over into our little creative office outlet area. This is the place where we kind of just like get anything done work-wise that we need to do. It's also kind of like a storage unit and stuff like that. You know, everyone has those rooms in your house where you just kind of like put stuff and that's where it is until it gets figured out. This is where we print. This is where we scan. This is where I edit all of our amazing videos that we do. We keep a lot of our cameras in here. You guys know one of my favorite cameras is the Contax G2 as well as my trusty Pentax 6.7. We have two of them because one of them decided to break one time and I was on a shoot when it broke and so I had to actually buy a second one and so now we have two. All right now we are moving on into our first bathroom. Now this bathroom is much smaller than any bathroom we had at our old place but it's give and take guys you know. But this is where we take baths. This is the only bathroom that has a tub in this house so that's just how it works. We have our kooky little artwork that we had in our old place above the toilet here. When I purchased them from this old guy he was like where are you gonna hang them? And I was like, I think I'm gonna put them above my toilet actually. And he was like, oh, that sounds messy. But we have not had any messes yet. And even though they play with your eyes, I think they're really cool. I just got these incredible glasses from Tom Brown. I've been looking for some like smart looking spectacle glasses. Very into them. What do we think? Maybe I'll just keep them on. You should. All right, let's head up to our second level. We are done with this level and let's see what's up here. So the unit is actually three stories. So there's lots of stairs and like I said, it starts two floors up So we are really getting our leg workouts these days guys up at the top We have 
our beautiful Salvador Dali print. This was actually my first piece of artwork that I ever purchased. I found it on first dibs from a guy in Paris and I don't know why, but I just ended up jumping on the occasion and then it showed up and I was like, wow, I have this. If you turn around, Nicholas, you will see we have these cute little sculptures on the wall of a toothbrush and toothpaste. We found that also at Market Market in Palm Springs and when I saw it, I was like, oh, these are so cute. And then I saw the holes in the back and I was like, oh, you know what? They're going on a wall. Okay, so now we're moving on into the first part of our middle floor. Most people would put their bedroom on this floor, but I just like didn't feel like it for some reason. So we decided to turn the entire middle floor into kind of like this transient floor where you just walk through it, but the whole thing is now our closet. And so we have our beloved shoe wall over here. This is much larger than our shoe wall in our previous apartment tour. The collection obviously gained a lot of family members. And so we found this unit of shelves that you can kind of just make it however long or high or whatever you want. And I've loved it and it works so great for shoes. You can change the spacing. It's just, it's been amazing. We have all of my Converse collection down in here. I think I probably have like 25 pairs of Converse. They are my absolute favorite shoe on earth. One of my more recent pickups is these Le Mer boots. They're kind of like almost like a flat boot. And this is kind of the first for me for a boot this flat. And I've just really loved them. I love the square toe on them. Color is good, great everyday boot. Turning around, we have a like Danish style credenza where we kind of just hold like a bunch of random things in. We have some clothes, we have some knickknacks, we have some like storage things. Something that I really love, I keep basically everything that I've ever been sent from a brand in terms of like notes and things like that. So in these boxes, I just have notes and memorabilia from just so many different moments in the life of my career. Happy holidays from Swarovski, like an old Prada program from one of their events. I have a cute note that I wrote Nicholas on the Hotel Chelsea stationery. It was very sweet. It's just memorabilia that I want to hold on to. I think it's very important to archive in life because when you look back later on, it's just going to be so nice to have all these memories just right in front of you. We have a vintage lamp that I got. I When I bought it, I thought it was so much smaller and it came and it was so big. You know, we just work with it at this point. It also is one of those old vintage lamps before the like heating regulations were put on it. So it gets insanely hot. Like if you touch it, you will burn yourself. We have this beautiful little glass table. Oh, hello Hudson. Oh, hi. I used to use this as a nightstand and then I got nightstands and now it just kind of hangs out, but you know, it's still beautiful and I don't want to get rid of it. So over here we have all of our pants and all of our like tops basically. We had a similar setup in our old place. It's basically just, we separate everything by denim cut and then by trouser cut. And then we separate by color, if that makes sense. I don't know why it worked for us, but it's worked and it's a great system. I think I have just about a pair of pants in any single color these days. And that was always a goal of mine. Down below, we separate everything just solely by color because organizing it any other way would have just been insanely difficult. But there's so much here. It's so much fun to come play dress up and just, you know, have a good time with your outfits. We put this cute little diptyque hanger in there to keep it nice and smelling good. Now we will move over to the other side of our middle floor. Oh, somebody joined us. Hello, Hudson. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Are you going to say hey? Are you going to say hi? Okay, so this side of the middle floor is much more of like a condensed closet, as you can kind of tell. We have all of my jackets up here. We have like some suit jackets and more like formally stuff down here. I mean, look at this. I don't know if you guys remember me wearing it on Instagram, but I mean, hey, amazing. We have so many fun jackets. I mean, this blazer with just feathers going along the back and the arms. Like, I mean, what? I mean, it's like any cocktail party, you'll be set. It's amazing. Over here, we have all of our long coats. They're all really in garment bags nowadays to try and keep them protected and to keep them away from Little Miss Hudson from destroying them. We put all of our sweaters up here. They sadly do not get to get used very often in Los Angeles, but I try to, whenever I can, wear a sweater out. I do. Then we have my entire bag collection, which is busting at the seams, but I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Sometimes Nick is like, you need to get rid of some bags. And I'm like, don't you dare say that. I also like stealing some of them too. Yeah, he loves to steal my bags. I have so many favorites. It would take me years to go over all of them. But I mean, like, I love my Loewe puzzle bag. I mean, we have old like JW Anderson cat bags. They don't even make this size anymore. I have all of my beloved Fendi bags up here. There's just, there's so many. I love it. It's, it's amazing. It touches my heart. We have the brand new Jackie Encora. 
Love her. If you come down in here, Nick, we have all of my sunglasses in this drawer. I don't think I have enough. Honestly, it's another thing where like, you can have a sunglass for any occasion. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I also, for some reason, won't stop buying sunglasses too, so we need to, you know, go see someone for that issue I have. And then moving over here, we have another section that doesn't really get touched that much unless we are traveling, but it's all of our like puffer and really, really warm jackets. I wish we got to wear them, but I mean, we just don't. But I think, you know, maybe in another time of life, they always get to come out when they travel and it makes it so exciting to go to a cold environment because we finally get to take one of these. Which one's your favorite? Mm, I don't know. I think probably this orange Montclair one is my favorite. It's a beautiful color, very striking. It's just fun. Which one's your favorite? Oh, I think the Acne Studio is one you bought me. Yeah, it's definitely your favorite. You love it. I got this for Nick as a gift and he loves it. And it actually works out well for me because it tracks him. So if he ever goes missing, I know where he is. It actually has the technology for like, if you get stuck in an avalanche, it will be able to help them find you, I guess. But I'm going to use it to track you. You're tracking Yeah, I'm going to use it to track you. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I actually have to show you guys is probably the coolest gift we've ever gotten sent from a brand. So we have been really into tennis. Lately, we've been learning it. Nick has been getting better at it so that we can play. And this year for Christmas, it was Christmas, right? Yeah, it was definitely For Christmas this year, Saint Laurent sent us two Saint Laurent rackets in collaboration with Wilson. I just, I don't know, I, I almost fainted. I, I didn't even know that they made these. And I don't know, it just came at the most amazing time. It was Christmas, we were really into tennis. I just think, I don't know, it's such a cool gift. Something I would never expect from a brand and something like, you know, you would probably never buy either, but it was just amazing. We had no words. So now we're going to move on towards our next level of our apartment. We have this insane piece of glass that stretches along the entire second floor that Nicholas and I try and talk to each other down through it and it just doesn't work. And we still seem to always try and do it. And it's always like, and you're trying to mouth it and it's it's just a mess, but somehow we don't learn. I have almost fallen down the stairs that I'm about to show you guys like eight times in two through the glass and down onto our first level. So probably not the most safe. Okay, let's move on into our main bathroom, I guess you would say. Nothing too crazy about this bathroom. You got your shower, you got all this, all that. Something really cool is we do have a built-in shelf that we decided to put all of our favorite fragrances on. So that has been fun, especially for when people come over and we're like going out or something and everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna use this one, I'm gonna use this one, I'm gonna use this one. It's, it's fun. It's like, it's like a vending machine of fragrance. Moving on to our third floor. As you come up, you see this beautiful print that was in our old apartment. This is one of Nicholas's old photos. It's basically a double exposure of a boy and then water that creates this beautiful silhouette. I don't know, we've always had it, we'll always have it. It's such a great print. Good job, Nick. Thank you. And now moving up into our bedroom. So the entire top floor is our bedroom. And we really decided that we wanted the top floor to be the bedroom mainly to wake up to the view and you have the best like light. And we also don't spend a whole lot of time in our bedroom really. It's really just a place that we go at the end of the day and the place where we start our day. So we thought the top floor would be better. And it's just become our little kind of like sanctuary up here. And so we wanted to keep this really like light and airy and just super relaxing. And so we have our big old king bed that the two of us take up this much space of. So we literally both like can spread out full <laughs> and not even to be able to touch the sides. We have two Danish style dressers that we kind of just keep like random stuff in, honestly. I've been keeping a lot of my supplements for at night in it. So right now I'm taking magnesium glycinate. If you have any trouble sleeping, try magnesium glycinate. I used to stay up to like three or four a.m at night just literally being like why can't I go to bed and supplements really helped change that for me. We have some of our favorite books. We got this lamp at a place called Object Culture I think in Palm Springs. I thought it was connected to this black piece of glass for the longest time and then I guess when they started to pack it up it was just that and I was like oh no and they were like oh 
no, the glass was just like our display. And I was like, oh, can I have it? And they were like, okay, fine, just take it. And now it's gonna display like that forever. We have our amazing Zeta mirror up here. If you don't know anything about Zeta Studio, they just make really, really cool, like wall sculptural mirror-esque things. This was one of the first purchases I made when we moved into this place. I knew I wanted something more sculptural. I wanted a mirror in here to kind of like make the space feel bigger and something that we could look into, but I didn't want just like a mirror. So so I wanted something cooler and this was perfect. I'll link Zeta Studios down below for you guys to check out. They are doing really cool things. We have a bunch of different ceramics around the house really, but we just kind of like look for anything that we feel is beautiful. And if we think it's pretty, we find a way to style it. We don't even really think about it that much. We just say like, oh, that's beautiful. We should take that. And we just do. Little Miss Hudson has her little blanket that she gets to sleep on so that she doesn't get hair all over our bed, even though she somehow seems to still do it. <laughs> Hi. I keep a little thing of the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Lotion over here because I rub it on my feet at night before I go to bed. <laughs> You're crazy. I just like, I don't know. It really has changed the way that my feet have been. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but that one was just like, it was a little too oily for my face. And so I was like, I don't want to waste it. So what can I do? And I was like rubbing it on my, my knees. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start rubbing it on my feet. <laughs> we have this incredible piece of artwork from another friend of ours named Mark Ranger. He is a very, very talented artist. He's such a cool guy. His process is just so unbelievable and I just love the way that he creates. When I was talking to him about this piece, he was like telling me how he was like, oh, I kind of just made it on accident off the whim and so it goes like all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. So I don't know how we would stretch it. And so then we had to get it like kind of like sewn into a fabric to display this way. And I actually love it. I was so hesitant about it, but our framer did an amazing job at getting it to look like this and it was just great but when he was showing it to me he was like oh I'll send you a video of it and you can tell me if you like it or not and he's like walking on it and things like that like he's just such an artist and it was such an amazing experience getting to see like who he is and then getting to now look at it every single day the piece is called Sam's new earring and it's just one of our favorites we got these two nightstands we don't have a whole lot of room in between here so I wanted something that was simple didn't take up a whole lot of space but it looked great we didn't really want anything storage wise just like a little place to table Something that's really cool about them is that you can move the legs around so they can stick out a little bit further or if you want them all the way in, you can just kind of do whatever you want with them. And I just loved the design of it and thought, you know, these will look great next to our bed. And I just kind of love how they don't really take up space if you think about it. Like, I don't know, they're there and they are useful, but you would never even notice that they're like taking up any space. You can easily just get around it. I love it. All right, so the next and final area is something that is super special to this home and something I was so happy about when we found this place. And that is our private rooftop deck. I love that it feeds right off of the bedroom. Right out on the deck, we have this beautiful little olive tree that I definitely don't water enough, but I try to. And we have an incredible view of all of Los Angeles, really. You can see all the way out into Beverly Hills and Century City. You can see all of the Hollywood and West Hollywood Hills. And I mean, it's just an incredible view. The second that I came out here and I saw this, I, I knew, I was like, I, I need to live here. It just never gets old. You can see the sunset every night. It's just such a beautiful place to go to bed, to wake up to. It's incredible. Moving over here, we have this amazing sectional that I was able to find on Facebook Marketplace and then had this amazing service called Lug bring it to our house. I didn't know that there was like an Uber for moving things around. It, it, I don't know. If you've never used it, it's incredible. This was like a grayish color and so I spent so many, so many days painting layer and layer of black onto it and then I had these cushions made to fit it perfectly and it's just kind of been our place that we can kind of just come hang and lounge and gather with our friends. It's been an amazing thing to have during the summer months. We can come out here and we can tan and lay out and just have a good time. And if we move over here, we have our table that we throw dinner parties at all the time. Since we don't have the dining table downstairs, this has kind of become our dining table S. We gather up here. We always have meals up here if that's more than just like Nick and I. It's so much fun. We all help bring all of the dishes upstairs and down. It's just, it's been a really 
good thing to have and it's really brought so many amazing gathering moments. Moving on, we have a old vintage rolling cooler that we just put like wine and drinks and random things in in the summer when we gather up here. Over here we have two day beds that we kind of just turned honestly into another sofa. First we had both of these day beds, they were basically combined into one day bed if you can visualize it, but then the people from the company got here and they could not fit it up through our stairs and they tried every possible way to get it, but it just would not fit. And so then we had to send it back, which I've never had to do before. And I was so scared that they weren't gonna like let me get new ones and stuff like that. So we ended up having to get two single ones so that they could fit through the stairs. And that's where we really learned that like sometimes bigger is not better. Over here is nothing crazy, just a place that we put some stuff for like when we have cookouts or something like that. We have our little grill that we don't use that often, honestly. I'm not a huge grill person. I should be, but I'm not. And we have a little storage that we put like blankets and pillows and all the cushions for all the couches out. And then on this side, you can see all of East LA. You can see the Hollywood sign. Sometimes they need to trim the tree, but you know, you can see the Griffith Observatory. It's really cool to have both sides of Los Angeles in your view. There are so many times that we always kind of like come up here and just like stare out and we're like, Wow. All right guys, so that is our new apartment here in LA. It feels kind of like the next step up from the one that we were in. And I love that so much. It means that we're growing and we're changing. It makes me so proud of us. Let me know what you guys think is your favorite parts of our apartment. I would absolutely love to hear. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we love it. I think it's such a nice day out. We might actually kick it out here for a little bit now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.